well, okay, let's start by saying calculate AB if AD, calculate AB if AD is equal to 9 units, right? And if AE is 12 units, and similarly EC is 4 units, and EC is 4 units. Now, that means AD is 9, right? AD is 9, AE is 12 and EC is 4 units, right? Now that means you want this year, you want this over here. Let's just call that X for now, right? Um, you want DB. Now, well, when you when you do the proportionality theorem, before you continue to give us any solutions, you got to say, well, I'm working with a big triangle in triangle ABC. The following holds. We can say, I want I can take the I want this little side over here so I can take I can take either AC over that or the entire side over that or I can find uh, DB or BD right over the short side which is AD and that's going to be equal to this short side over that short side which is going to be EC over AE right EC over uh, AE. Let's see what I've got. Okay, so I want to solve for BD, and that tells me the following. That tells me that BD is equal to EC over AC. Mm, that's my mistake. I mean, I mean that little short side over AE. Right. Let's get. Let's just get that back over there, over AE. So it's EC over AE multiplied by AD. And what does that give me? What is EC? Well, let's substitute and we can see our values. EC is 4. AE is 12. And AD is 9. Well, 9 times 4 is 36, and 36 divided by 12. And then the answer is going to be three units. Okay. Now, you may say, Imad, you've made a terrible mistake because what they really want is uh, AB. And AB is that entire length over there. Well, I've calculated that BD is three, right? That BD is equal to three, three units, as you can see. Right? BD is equal to three units. And therefore, AB is equal to 12 units because 9 plus 3 gives me 12. Now you could say, well, we could have done it another way. And let's see another way. How can we do this uh, in another, another example? I can take the entire ratio and then just take it proportionally of the smaller piece. So let's do that quickly. Oh, yes, don't forget, I've got to give a reason. So what are my reasons here? My reasons for making this statement is going to be that uh, I'm using the proportionality theorem, right? And I've got DE parallel to BC. And that's my reason, right? So I make the statement, I say in triangle ABC, I make the statement, I give the reason, and then I find the solution, and there I've got it. Okay, so let's, let's quickly see how could I also have solved it by using another valid ratio. Yeah, I used BD. BD, the small one over this small uh, over this short one over this side, then this one over that one. I've got to maintain that order. That's how the proportionality works over here. Uh, let's see if I, if there's another way in which I could find AB easily that it, such that AB comes out to be twelve units. Okay. Okay. So let's find another valid ratio. Well, I want AB, right? I want AB. That's the full length. Find AB if AD is nine. And AE is 12 and EC is 4. So let's see what we can do over there now. Well, we can take a ratio. We say in triangle ABC, in the big triangle, I've got uh, AB divided by AD. So it's the long side by the short side. So I have to maintain it on the other side as well. So AB by AD is equal to AC by AE. Right, that's my long, uh, not AE. Uh, yes, the long side by that short side, AB by AD, and AC, the entire side, by AE. 
And so let's see what I can do now. Remember, I've got to give it a reason, and my reason is going to be proportionality theorem, right? And I'm going to say what are the two parallel lines. Because remember, the proportionality theorem says if you draw a parallel line or a line parallel to one of the sides of the triangle, the other two sides are, are proportionately uh, divided. So I've got to say that DE is parallel to BC or BC is parallel to DE in that way. So let's find the solution. Well, we're interested in finding AB. So now I can say that a, 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 AB is really equal to AC divided by AE multiplied by AD. And let's see what do I get. What is AC? Well, AC is going to be 12 plus 4, which is going to be 16. And AE is going to be 12. Right? And... What do I want to substitute now? AD. AD is going to be 9. Okay, so 16 over 12 simplifies to 4 over 3, right? Or, yeah, and 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 3 times 4 is going to be 12. So a little bit of either arithmetic work there in your brain or on the calculator, you'll find out that that AB is 12 units. Okay, so that tells me that that entire piece there is 12 units. So that concludes that that piece over there must be 3 units. Well done.